Wow, look at that, it's, it's going, it doesn't know where it's at. It's lost completely. Those two sides of the computer are talking to each other and they're deciding, do you think this is the way? What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I1 Tesla and today I'm actually on the same road I always test autopilot on in my car with my Model 3 with 2.5 hardware and my wife's car with 2.0. Uh, I'm on my booster board right now because I'm going to show you what this road actually looks like uh, from outside the car. I had a subscriber, Matt sent me a video of his Model 3 with 3.0 hardware in some tricky situations and with some weird roads that my autopilot's never been on. Now that was actually backwards the way I normally go. I normally go this way. But just gives you an idea how you come, how I came down that hill, we're actually coming up that hill normally and not being able to see what's around the bend, but the car actually does it. Matt took his car out at nighttime after getting a new update and let me, let's go home and talk about his two videos. He sent me the one overnight and then I asked him to do another one during the day, which was today, and see what the difference was with, with version 3 with the new software update. So let's go back. All right, this video starts out, he's in the rain driving down this narrow road. He's already in autopilot, as you can see on the le the bottom right corner. The headlights are really good in the Model 3, so it can see the si a, a good transition between the side and the road. But this is the weird part right here. Watch as it goes transitions to this narrow road, it stays in autopilot with no warnings popping up. That's, that's what he told me was the craziest thing. It, there was no warnings that popped up at nighttime during this whole drive. You can see how centered it is. His hand is moving back and forth just to give tension on the wheel and to adjust the speed because he said he was a little nervous at this point. But it's amazing. Right now, he, t he disengaged it because this car was coming. Uh, that was the only reason he disengaged, but I, I would have left it going and see what would have happened. So he sent me that first video and I asked him to do that during the day to kind of give like two videos to see, you know, was it better in the nighttime? Was it better in the daytime? How does it see better? And I, I personally think the car sees better at nighttime because the headlights are so bright and it could see really good contrast. So here's the second video. So I asked him to do it during the daytime and you can see the little white lines there or the yellow lines there. He was able to get it into autopilot, but then they disappear. But the crazy thing is, it's the car sees where the center of the road is and it stays on the right side of the road. It sees where the lines are, where they should be, thinking that there should be another car coming on the other side. You see, he's actually getting pretty close. Right there, it pulled up for him to grab the, his, the hands on the wheel, I think because it saw the car coming down the road. And again, it's staying on the right side of the road, which is pretty amazing when there's no lines in the middle. My car won't do that. It'll decide to go in the center, uh, or 2.5 does because this is a lot like my development here where there's no lines anywhere I'm pretty impressed with uh, how it's staying on the the correct side of the road. He is going slow here He's going under the speed limit five miles under the speed limit, but you know, this is being cautious. There's a car coming Let's see if, if it gives another warning No warning that time which is awesome. This drive is a little longer Looks like it's drifting a little to the right. I think this is a 3.0 thing because my 2.5 does not do this. Coming over that crest did just fine. No hands have popped up yet uh, except for that one spot back there. Got a little squirrely there. Looked like he grabbed the wheel, but he, it didn't go out of autopilot. So I'm not sure if he grabbed the wheel or not, but it was a little squirrely. You can see the wheel going back and forth quite a bit, trying to find where the center of the road is. Now, this is what it does now in autopilot. It just picks the middle of the road. But you'll see here, it really starts hugging the left side for some reason. It made him a little nervous, he told me. It was getting really close to the left side. Now it goes back center. His hand's really close to the wheel because he doesn't didn't want to hit that sign, but this is where that car came the, in the night before. And now it gets even farther to the left. Look how close it is to the side of the road there. There's even red lines on the driver's side. And now it gets all messed up. It doesn't know what's going on. There's less vegetation around, so it's harder to, for it to see the lines. And it keeps popping up. I can barely see, but it keeps popping up the red hands and dinging. I have all the sound off because he had music playing. It keeps popping up and keeps popping up and keeps popping up. 
It's a pretty cool video. This is really cool to see 3.0 hardware working a lot better than 2.5. And like I said, I don't have that yet. Hopefully I'll have that soon. Tesla, get to work. What Matt told me was when he first picked up the car in May, it didn't have all the features. It didn't have navigate on autopilot and he was on version 12, what is it, 12.1.2. And that didn't have some of the features. He was lacking things. It wasn't on par with 2.5, which is kind of weird. He just recently got uh, 20.2.1, it opened it wide open. It put it on par and I think he he feels it is better than 2.5. That can, that faster computer, that redundant computer, it can see a lot more, it can render everything a lot quicker and it's able to decide. Those two sides of the computer are talking to each other and they're deciding, do you think this is the way? Do you think this is the way? Well, let's go that way. <laughs> that was stupid. Anyway, but that's kind of what's happening in that computer. There's, so there's really two things controlling at a fast, fast rate. It's pretty awesome to see the full self-driving computer is making autopilot better already. Just wait to see how well autopilot's gonna work in three months from now, four months from now, six months from now, because we still won't have full self-driving, but that's gonna be quite amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Matt, thank you for sharing this video with everyone. And if you're a subscriber and you want to send me a video, please email me. My email is down below. We can put a montage of a bunch of videos together of the same kind of scenarios. But if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is click the link over here. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.